Hello, everyone. My name is Shenda Chen. I'm a PhD student from the Pennsylvania State University. The paper I will present today is Apnea Detector, Detecting Sleep Apnea with Smart Watches. Sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder in which breathing is briefly and repeatedly interrupted. The PSG test is the standard clinical test to diagnose sleep apnea. However, it is very inconvenient since it requires the subjects to wear many wire attachments. Also, the PSG test is very expensive and time-consuming since it involves many hospital visits. In this paper, we propose to use the building sensors in smartwatch to detect sleep apnea. There are three kinds of sleep apnea events, central sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea, and hypomnea. This figure shows the airflow for an central sleep apnea event. Since the subjects hold the breathing for more than 10 seconds, the airflow during this period remains flat. And since the airway remains open, the subjects can return back to normal breathing after the events. This shows for an obstructive sleep apnea. Since the airflow is blocked, then the airflow is flagged here. And also because the, this airflow uh, blockage, the subject is likely to make one or more intensive uh, breath after the event. And similar situation happen for hypomnia events. Using accelerometer uh, sensor in smartwatch, we can detect sleep apnea. This is because uh, restoration leads to the periodical movement of the arms and the wrist during breathing. This figure shows the accelerometer data for this uh, central sleep apnea event. As we can, be, we can see here, during the central sleep apnea events, uh, the accelerometer data remains flat. And this shows the same pattern as the pattern shown in airflow. And for obstructive sleep apnea events, since the subjects make uh, intensive breaths, this intensive uh, breaths will cause a signal spike in the accelerometer data, similar for hypomnia events. Detecting this uh, signal spike can detect most of uh, obstruct, obstructed uh, sleep apnea and hypomnia events. In this paper, we propose a smartwatch-based system called apnea detector to detect sleep apnea events. Since the uh, data is noised, there are several challenges to be addressed. First, how to process the noise data and how to detect the signal spikes, and then how to identify features for apnea detection. To process the noise data, we propose techniques for signal denoising and data calibration. In signal denoising, the signal noise is smoothed away from the raw data while preserving the spikes, which reflect possible apnea events. In data calibration, trend effects are removed from the accelerometer data to preserve the apnea events patterns. After data pre-processing, -pre we define a metric called maximum standardized residual to identify the signal spikes, which represents the existence of uh, OSA or hypomnia events. As can be seen in this figure, the signal spikes usually lag behind intensive breath. So, so we can see there is a lagging time here. We consider the lagging time of this spike occurrence and the sub-window size of the apnea events for calculating maximum standardized residual. Besides the spike feature, we also extract features related to signal peaks, such as the distance uh, between two consecutive peaks, the number of peaks, and the amplitude of peaks. We also consider uh, multi-access uh, correlation features. We extract, we extract feature, the normalized covariance between the accelerometer data along every two different assets for apnea detection. To evaluate the performance of apnea detector, we conducted a clinical study with 20 subjects at Penn State Medical Center. The subjects were prescribed to do the regular PSG test. During the PSG test, each subject also won a smartwatch running our application to collect the accelerometer data of the wrist movement during sleep. 
the collected data covers a diversity of uh, different sleep apnea events. We use the PSG uh, web reports as the ground truth to evaluate the performance of apnea detector. The apnea detector can achieve much high performance above 96% for precision recall and F1 score. It also performs much better than the amplitude-based method. More results can be found in the paper. In summary, in this paper, we designed and evaluated a smartwatch-based system called apnea detector for apnea detection. We identified the characteristics of sleep apnea, which can be captured by smartwatch through a clinical study. We propose techniques to process the noise data and extract features to train classifier for apnea detection. Using our collected data, we demonstrated that apnea detector can detect sleep apnea events with high precision. Thank you.